iPads without a doubt provide the most educational opportunity and versatility. However, in the hands of children, they can also be a little frustrating. And if you consider what is on the internet nowadays, they can also potentially be a little dangerous. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up an iPad so it's kid-friendly and they get the most amount of educational value and at the same time, you get the least amount of fear and frustrations. Welcome to the Awareness Module. Hi everybody, PJ from the Awareness Module here where we are bridging the gaps between life and education. On this channel, we discuss tips and strategies on how we can influence young minds so that they can find success, not just in the classroom, but also in their lives. We also do educational tech and resource reviews, so if you're interested in any of that, you might want to subscribe. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to set up this iPad so that you feel a lot more comfortable when you see it in your kid's hands and you can have a little bit more control over it. So uh, what I'm going to show you here is on the latest operating system of the iPad. Um, the reason I did that is because there's a screen recording option on it now, which is awesome. Go Apple. It was really frustrating to do it before that. So uh, however, the things I'm going to show you today are available in older versions, older operating systems on the iPad. It just might be located in different places, so keep that in mind. But everything I'm going to show you, you should be able to do where you are at home. So I'm going to go into my iPad here. I'm going to start the screen recording. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so it's recording. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the settings. It's the little gear box down here on the bottom. And then once you're in settings, you're going to want to go near the bottom. It's fifth from the bottom and it says restrictions. You're going to tap on restrictions and you're going to turn it on. When you go to the top, it says enable restrictions. So I'm going to tap enable restrictions and then it's going to ask you for a passcode. Now, listen to me here. Don't forget the passcode. If you forget the passcode, it's going to be very, very annoying to reset everything, okay? So remember the passcode. At the same time, don't make it so simple that your kid's gonna guess it, okay? So for this, for argument's sake here, I'm just gonna do 1111 as I do this demo. And then once you put in that code and it asks you to do it again, it's gonna show, everything's gonna light up and it's gonna show you all these little like switches along the right-hand side. This means you can turn on and off those specific functions, so for example, I don't want my child going to look on the internet through Safari so you can turn Safari off. Maybe you don't want your child going to the iTunes store so you can turn off iTunes. You can turn off in-app purchases. This is huge. For any of you who have had your kids get your device and just start downloading stuff like crazy, you can actually turn that off from here. You can actually turn off installing apps at all from this area uh, in the settings through the restrictions. If you go down a little further, you can allow specific content. So for example, um, for ratings, I can, so it's a United States rating system. Um, for movies, I just want G movies to be accessible and you can turn off all the other ones. Um, say for example, for apps, I just want apps that are certain age range, maybe nine plus, you can turn only those ones. Certain websites, you can say, oh, I only want a limited adult content or you can specifically specifically assign, you can say only certain websites too as well. So very, very cool options there. You can also go down and change some of the privacy um, at the very, very bottom. Um, things like your multiplayer games. If you don't want your kids playing multiplayer games like on the internet playing games with people, you can turn that stuff off. So there's a lot of things that you can manipulate in this restrictions area so that your kids don't have access to those. Now the second thing I'm going to show you um, is really really good if you want to limit your child's time on the iPad or if you want them to do an educational game first before they start cruising YouTube or whatever. I'm going to show you how you can set it so they can only access certain things when you want them to. So uh, this is found on mine on the newer system. It's 
under accessibility, but I think on the older ones, it's under restrictions, but you take a look around. But what you're looking for, so if I go into general, I'm going under accessibility, and if you go down to near the bottom, second from the bottom, it says guided access. Okay, you want to turn on the guided access. Check the passcode again, so to create a passcode that you want it to be. Again, I'm just going to use all ones because it's simple for this demo. Then you can set up, you can set on here the time limit. So if you're going to set a time limit, you can actually put an alarm on it so your child knows when the time is about to be up. You can do a speak. I think you can record, um, yeah, you re can record something that you wanted to say, I believe, when the time's up. So there you go, guided access. And I'm going to show you how this works. So say I'm going into an app. Um, let's say um, I'm going to use this one, one that's on the bottom here. This app is called Alpha Bear. It's just like a really great little word game that I used with some older kids who are able to understand some spelling stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go to this app. It's going to take a little while to load up. And now it's, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Okay, so now it's on. Oh, I got an hourly coin bonus. Sweet. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do from here is every time you triple click the home button, so one, two, three, there we go. It says guided access started, which means they cannot unclick this. So if they go to click, you'll see on the top it says guided, oh, I'll do it again. Click and it says guided access is enabled. Triple click to get home. So they go to triple click and it's asked you for that passcode to get out of it. So I'm going to show you what you can do from here. I'm going to put in the passcode. If you look on the bottom of this guided access, you can limit things. You can put time limits on. In the bottom right corner, you can put time limits. And you can put a limit. You can turn on the time limits. And you can say how long you want to give them the opportunity to be on this iPad, right? So you can limit the options. You can also... Uh, check the buttons that they're allowed to use. If you don't want them to turn on the volume, you can turn off the volume buttons. You can change the keyboard. You can also select certain areas that they're allowed to touch and the areas that they're not allowed to touch. So there's a lot of interesting options in here. And then you just hit resume if you want to keep it in guided access or you can hit end to turn it off. And then now I can start going through my iPad regularly. So those simple switches that you can make can really create a lot more safer environment on the iPad for your kids. The last thing I'm gonna teach you is this app called Kids Locks. And what makes this app really interesting is it provides you with a lot of versatility and a lot of things that you can do to limit the access on the iPad. You can switch it off for certain times of the day. So say it's dinner time, you don't want anyone on their electronics at dinner time. You can go through kids locks and set the times that are available for them. You can also limit the amount of time per day. There's lots of ways that you can monitor their iPad use and limit it to what you think is the most valuable for you. Now, that app is $30 for the year, so it is a paid app if you want the full year. I think they provide you a few, a seven day trial or something like that. But it, for $30 for an entire year, not having to face frustrations on that iPad when you want them to get off of it, might be worth your while and something to look into. So there you have it. There is multiple ways that you can create a little bit more sanity in your life regarding this iPad and your kids can still get the educational value and uh, the joy that they get out of playing on an iPad. So thank you very much for watching. My name is PJ from the Awareness Module. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to make some comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, everybody.